In this video, we're gonna go through the five main ways of how to sell your whiskey. So there are five main ways to sell your whiskey, and these are selling through a specialist online auction, selling through a traditional auction house, selling through a whiskey broker, selling to a retailer, and selling on the Mark Littler Limited shop. In this video, we're gonna go through all the pros and cons of each sales method and what bottles are best suited to each particular sales method. Now, if you'd like some expert help and advice on which is the most appropriate method for your bottles, then we're here to help. Not only can we value your bottles, but we can also advise what is the most appropriate sales route for them. We can also handle all of the logistics and we've got hundreds of five-star reviews and we've even got a fully insured courier service that you can use too. And there's more information in the links down below. And now let's go on to the five main ways to sell your whiskey. Now, before we do that, you've got to understand two things. The biggest thing is you can't sell your whiskey yourself. So unlike almost anything that you own, whiskey, you cannot own it and then resell it yourself personally because of the, Al or the Licensing Act 2003, which governs the sale of alcohol in the United Kingdom. So in order to sell alcohol in the UK, you need a personal license in order to basically authorize the sale. You need a premises license, which is, the, is, is where the goods are appropriated to the contract. And then you also may need requirement to be on the alcohol wholesale registration scheme. Now, if you start trying to sell your whiskey on your, on your own without those three things, you could be liable for a six month prison sentence and a 20,000 pound fine. So this is the reason why there is no marketplace on eBay or Facebook, because in the UK, it is not legal to sell your whiskey yourself. Now, another fundamental thing that you need to know before you sell your whiskey, as we're gonna go into, is you've got to find out what your bottle of whiskey is worth. And that's where we can help. So if you want to find out what your bottle of whiskey is worth, we'll put some links below and we've got loads of resources outlining how to value your bottle, what to look for, and we can provide you with a free valuation as well. Now, if you're already an experienced whiskey collector or investor, you've probably come across some of the specialist online whiskey auctions, which are pretty much where tens of thousands of whiskey sales are transacted every month in the UK. There's millions of pounds worth of whiskey sold each month at these auctions. And the first specialist whiskey auction was set up in Germany in the late 1990s, and the first online auction house that just focused on selling whiskey in the UK was Scotch Whiskey Auctions and they set up in 2011. So it's still a relatively young industry. And this is something to be careful of really because not all auction houses are created equal, but we'll come on to this in a moment. But these specialist auction houses, one of the, they only sell whiskey. So their audience is massively focused on collecting and investing bottles of whiskey. So let's sort of run through the pros and cons of these online whiskey auctions. So one of the biggest pros is obviously, as we've mentioned, they focus solely on marking to a whiskey community. So your bottle is gonna go in front of people who understand the product and they are going to be in a position to buy that product because they understand what they're looking for. They're not gonna stumble across it as we'll talk about in the next set of auctions and think, oh, I wonder what this is worth. These are presenting bottles to a very focused community. Another benefit of selling at these online auctions is that the fees are particularly low. So between zero and 10% typically. So there's such fierce demand for these bottles now because the values are so high that many auction houses will offer commissions as low as zero to 5% typically. Some of them um, go up to about 10%, but zero to five is pretty much the average at these auctions. So you know that you're gonna pay very little and that means that you're going to get a higher proportion of what the buyer's prepared to pay for your bottles. And then finally, as with any auction, you've got the potential for two bidders to get carried away and your bottle to rocket and reach the stars and reach a price that's never been achieved before. Now, there are quite a few cons that come with selling at auction, like with these specialist auctions. And obviously, the, the, the main one is the uncertainty in the prices. 
And now in any one auction, you could post your single beautiful bottle of Macallan Private Eye into an auction. And then lo and behold, there's three other bottles of Macallan Private Eye in that same auction, and all of a sudden, yours doesn't stand out. So the biggest problem with these auctions is the uncertainty of the pricing, because we'll put some examples on screen now of whiskies that are exactly the same, sold in exactly the same month, but you've got a huge disparity of pricing. Another fact that makes selling with these online auctions quite difficult is the fact that you quite often have to ship the bottles to them. Now, some of them will collect from you, but that's normally for larger collections, but you're responsible for posting your multiple hundred or multiple thousand pound bottle off in the postal system, which if you live in the UK and you've had experience with some of these firms, some of them are not very good. So you have to take a bit of a gamble and you cannot, as a private individual, insure your whiskey, even if you use Royal Mail special delivery, because they don't insure glass vessels. Now, there is also a lot of other additional fees to take into account when you're selling at these online auctions. There's often reserve fees, which can be up to 10 pounds per bottle there are listing fees it can be six seven eight pounds per bottle so even though they might have a low commission for you to, to pay there's going to be a lot of additional fees that go on especially if you're selling a large number of bottles and then finally one of the biggest cons of these auctions is that relatively slow to pay out so they're on the medium scale of payments between you consigning your bottle the bottle being sold and then the bottle being paid out could take as long as 12 weeks, depending on when you hit the auctions and when it's collected and when they're paid out. So it's not the quickest way to sell them. Now, got to look at what bottles are best suited to these online auctions. So I would say the low value, low risk bottles. So look at it this way. If you've got a £10,000 bottle of whiskey and the market fluctuates 10% plus or minus in that month, you're either going to gain or lose £1,000, which is a lot of money. Now let's say that you've got a £250 bottle of whiskey and the market fluctuates again that 10%. You're looking at a £25 difference here or there. So I tend to think that bottles that are best suited to auction are the ones that are sub £1,000 because you're going to have not have too much fluctuation in the pricing, the ones that you can afford to take a risk on and they're quite suited for getting rid of large collections of medium to low value bottles because they will go through and technically they will probably all sell within a month. So the next method of selling your bottles is gonna be selling them through a traditional auction house. So what do I mean by a traditional auction house? Well, I mean someone like Christie's or Sotheby's or Bonham's or McTeer's who are bricks and mortar sale rooms that are multidisciplinary and have physical auctions. So the online auctions only take bids online. Sales like Sotheby's, McTeer's, Bonham's, they all have physical auctions where you can attend and bid in person. Now you may think the two are the same, but there's, there's a few differences that you need to be aware of. And let's jump into the pros and cons with these. So one of the biggest pros about selling with these spe like these, these bricks and mortar auction houses is, is that they reach an audience who don't know that they want to buy whiskey. So with the online, bot online auctions, you're only gonna reach geeks, nerds, and anoraks and you're all gonna love being called that, but come on, we are, that are looking specifically for these bottles of whiskey. Sales, like Sotheby's put together, the Ultimate Whiskey Collection, this is from 2019, absolutely phenomenal cataloging here, which you won't see with online auctions. You will typically only get basic online catalog production, you know, sort of on online catalogs with basic right photography. These traditional bricks and mortar sale rooms, they have, buyers who are interested in high-end watches, high-end cars, high-end jewellery. They might not even know that they want to start buying and collecting whiskey, but when it's presented to them in this format, they will come out of the woodwork. And these are the buyers that are gonna spend the most on them. Sotheby's proved this with this Ultimate Whiskey Collection. Even in 2019, this sale holds many of the world records for many of like some of the most exclusive bottles of whiskey. Now, again, these these bricks and mortar sale rooms, they're much easier to de deliver your bottles to because they have locations in many cities and towns across the UK. And finally, they, they do have an online bidding presence, either through an online bidding platform where you can, where you can bid online or through companies like thesaleroom.com or Easy Live Auctions where the customers can still bid online. So you're not alienating the people who can bid online, you're just basically adding many different ways to sell. Now, let's look at the cons of selling through these traditional auctions. Now, the first thing is that they charge a heck of a lot of commission. They 
the online auction houses are set up to sell bottles of whiskey, small bottles, you know, a bottle takes up a relatively small amount of space and it's a very easy thing to post and ship and this, that and the other. These traditional auction houses tend to have a set commission across their entire categories. So from classic cars, to paintings, to jewelry, to silver, to whiskey, to wine, the commission rate is still the same. Expect to pay about 15% plus VAT when you're selling at these auctions. And also the buyers tend to pay about 20 to 25% plus VAT on top of the hammer price. Whereas at the online auctions, that buyer's commission is typically only around 10% plus VAT. So if you've got 10,000 pounds to spend on a bottle as a buyer, you work backwards. So if you're working at a traditional auction house, or bidding at a traditional auction house, you might have to take off 30% in order to get to your highest bid price. Whereas if you're bidding at one of those online auction houses where your commission's only 10% or 12%, you only have to take off 10 to 12% from your highest, from your, from your total budget. Which means when you're selling at some of these traditional auction houses, you might not take home anywhere near the amount that's published on the website because of these huge commissions on there. So given the pros and cons of these traditional auctions, well, what bottles are best suited to selling at these traditional auction houses? Well, typically very high value and very prestigious collections, as demonstrated with this ultimate whiskey collection that Sotheby's put together. And they're also best suited for if you want uber convenience. If you live in Glasgow and you want to walk, well, you know, if you live anywhere and you go to your local auction house, you take your bottle, you can sign it to them, it will be sold. They're very convenient. But as we've said, there are cons. And if you're wondering while you're watching this video, which sales route should you take, please get in touch and we'll be happy to give you some advice. So now we come on to selling through a whiskey broker. And that's what my job is. I'm Mark Littler, I run Mark Littler Limited, and we're whiskey brokers, which basically means we're like estate agents. We don't own the items that we sell. People can sign them to us and we find them buyers. Now, we're super convenient. My job is to make your life as easy as possible. And if you look at any of our 400 five-star reviews across Google, Yellow, and Facebook, you'll see loads of people saying how easy we make the process. Now, first of all, we have a fully insured courier service, which covers all eventualities. So because we're a commercial business, we've got a specialist marine cargo or goods in transit cover for bottles. So we can make the whole process of valuing your bottle, finding a buyer, and then selling it very simple. And that's essentially what you do. If you contact us with your bottle, we'll find you a buyer and put forward their highest price to you. If you want to accept that offer, we then broker the sale, we get the bottle from you, we send it to the buyer, we get the money and we send it on to you. So let's look at the pros and cons of this approach. Now, clearly the biggest pro of this approach is that you're in control of the process. If you don't receive an offer that you feel is, is, war like is good enough for your bottle, there's no obligation to sell. You can hang on. You can take a gamble at auction and if you wanted to. But the biggest pro there is that you're fully in control. You never release your bottle until it's achieved a price that you're happy to sell it at. Secondly, our fully insured postal service makes it super convenient to get the bottles to us to make this process as easy as possible for you. We'll send you all the packing material so you essentially receive a parcel, we put, you put the bottle inside the specialist packing material, there's a prepaid postage label inside, it's collected and brought back to us all fully insured. Now, we also market these bottles on a global marketplace you know we've got hundreds of buyers across the world so your bottles are going to reach the same audience as they would at these online auctions and traditional auctions it's just that you know in advance what your bottle is going to be selling for and then finally a very, a very one of the things that our customers like is the speed of payment on this so let's say that we send to you an offer on a thursday of a thousand pounds for your bottle on the Friday, the box is dispatched to you. You receive it on the Monday. We get it back on the Tuesday. We complete the sale. And then the money will be back in your bank account, typically by the Friday. So it's a very quick payment turnaround. So it does have that ability, if you do need money quickly, to get the money from, from your bottle into your bank much quicker than selling through auctions. Now, there are obviously cons to this service. There are cons to all services. The biggest problem with selling through our service is that the price is fixed. You know, there's no auction fever. The price isn't going to triple or quadruple when we receive it. You know, all the sales prices are agreed in advance. So there's no chance of sort of auction fever happening there. 
So what bottles are best suited through selling through a broker like ourselves? Well, typically bottles that are higher in value, the ones that you can't afford to take the risk with at auction. So typically 500, 1,000 pounds upwards. But if you get in touch with us, we'll let you know exactly what your bottle's worth and how we think we can, you, can, you can sell them to the best advantage. We're also very good at dealing with very large collections of bottles on this brokerage service. So if you've got 300 or 500 bottles, we can find buyers that will often take the entire collection from your hands. And again, you have that pre-arranged price prior to sale. Now, another way of selling your bottles of whiskey is selling directly to a retailer or a dealer. Now, this used to be a very common way and if you search how to sell whiskey online you'll find a lot of the main whiskey retailers will have a page saying we'll buy your bottle of whiskey from you now again there, there are there are quite a few pros to this this approach it's similar to our brokerage service in terms of you get a fixed price and when the bottle arrives with them you get paid out for that price you know it's a very quick and convenient way to do it and again because you've got that uh, immediate connection with the dealer or the retailer the, the turnaround of offers will be very quick. You know, we can take a couple of days to find offers from our clients because we have to go to so many of them. Whereas on going to a retailer or a dealer, you're simply going to one person, the person who's head of buying for that company. So the, the, the response time might be very quick. Now, there are quite a few cons as well of selling through to a retailer or, or a dealer. And the biggest one is pricing, because this is what not many people tend to realize when they're selling there with or looking at prices online is that you might see a bottle that's a thousand or ten thousand pounds online and think well they've offered me five thousand pounds for it why they, you know they've got it up on their site for ten thousand pounds number one take off the vat 20 percent of that value of that bottle is vat so that ten thousand pound bottle comes to about eight thousand three hundred pounds now hello mr sunak wants corporation tax boom there goes 20 percent of your profits already so you can soon see how a £5,000 purchase price doesn't leave actually that much margin in for the retailer, even if they're listing it at £10,000. So there can often be quite a big disparity between the prices that you see on their website and the offers that they may uh, give to you. And then the final, should we say, negative side about selling to a dealer or a retailer is that you're often responsible for getting the whiskey bottles to them yourself. And again, we've mentioned this before, it's impossible to insure whiskey unless you've got on a commercial policy specifically designed for doing that. So what bottles are best suited to this method of sale? Well, basically, it depends on your circumstances with this. If you're, if you're feeling quite lazy and you just want a quick sale and you want to call up your local whiskey shop, they'll give you a price. But if you want to know and see the entire market, as I've said a few times, get in touch. We'll give you a valuation and let you know what it's worth. So finally, we come on to probably the most exciting way to sell your whiskey. And why do I say it's the most exciting way? Because it's probably the most recent development in the sale of whiskey that's come to light, and that's selling through the Mark Little Limited shop. Now, as we've just touched upon, there is a big disparity between the average auction value for a bottle and the average retail price for a bottle. The retailers have to take into account VAT and corporation tax because they're VAT registered businesses. Now, we can take your bottles of whiskey and place them in a retail environment on our shop and market them to the world in the same way that all the other whiskey retailers do. The benefit is, is that you get the majority of the profits and not the retailer or dealer. Now, we've had a lot of experience and a lot of success doing this. I don't know if you remember, but in 2020, there was a story about Matthew Robson, who sold a vertical of 18 year old McCallum that his dad bought him every year for his birthday. We were the brokers who made that sale and those bottles were listed on our shop. We've also re recently done the equivalent of selling ice to Eskimos by selling a vertical of Abalau Rabuna back to the Abalau distillery. So we had a vertical of Abalau Rabuna and because it was the most unique or the, one of the only verticals of Abalau Rabuna in existence, the distillery bought it back. So our shop gets huge visibility and it gets you better prices. You're almost guaranteed a, a, a higher price in an auction, which is one of the greatest pros of selling through our online shop. So because we know the average auction price for a bottle might be £5,000 and the average retail price for that bottle might be £10,000, we can list your bottles at say £7,500. So you're getting a significant premium over the average auction prices. And how can we know that this is gonna sell? Well, clearly it's £2,500 lower than any other bottle in the UK. 
Now, again, our shop, we offer our fully insured courier service to collect your bottles from you. And there's almost no risk associated with selling on the shop. If you put your collection of bottles on our shop and some of them do not sell, you can then always fall back on an auction price. You can always fall back, we can send them to an auction for you. But you're not necessarily going to be reliant upon the price that's available on that day because you've, 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 you've made the most out of your opportunity and you've tried to squeeze every last penny out of them by putting them on an over auction price on our shop for sale. Now, one of the biggest cons about selling on the Mark Littler shop is the lead time. So if you're going to be charging 30, 40, 50% more than the average auction price, it's gonna take longer to sell than putting it into an auction. That is offset by the fact that you're gonna be receiving 30, 40, 50% more than you could achieve at auction. But if you're looking for a quick sale, the Mark Littler Limited shop is definitely not the way for you to sell. And our shop is really best suited to collections of bottles, so large collections of bottles or individual bottles, which as we mentioned about the specialist online auctions, you're not prepared to take the risk with. So any bottles that are say over 750 pounds individually are probably too risky to, to try an auction, so are probably best suited to our shop in the first instance. And as we've mentioned, we're very, very well placed at selling rare collections and verticals like the Abelara Urbuna vertical and the Macallan 18 year old vertical. So there we have it. It's quite a lengthy, but hopefully in-depth overview on how to sell your whiskey. If you came to this video in thinking that online auctions are your only approach, then you're missing out. There are many different ways to sell your bottles, but it all depends on what you want to achieve and how much time you've got available for the sale of those bottles. If you want to find out what your bottles of whiskey worth and the best way to sell them, please get in touch and we'll be happy to help.